Greetings YouTube, Elijah and Unleashed back at you from right here at the Green Thumbs Gardening Channel. If you recall from our last update on our three foot by six foot Hugo Culture um, garden planter that we have right here in our front yard, we told you guys that um, we had what we called um, foil or mulch here in our planter. You know, and it's a case where the leaf coverage from your plants provide all of the shade that you need for the soil below. In that last video, we also told you guys that we were considering removing the mulch from this um, planter since we, we really had no need for it. You know, um, that mush did a great job in retaining moisture in this planter when the um, Beauregard sweet potatoes were much smaller than what they are right now. But um, at this point, there was no uh, need for it. So we came back, we removed it. We're gonna show you guys what our planter looks like now that we've re removed all of the mush from it. So hang tight, you two. All right, you two. This is what our planter looks like now that we've removed the mulch from it. As you can see, we have about a four inch gap between the surface of the soil and the top of the planter. We're gonna come back and fill that void with this miracle Grow potting mix. Again, we don't need this mulch. We found about 10, maybe even a dozen huge uh, cutworms in this uh, mulch over here. And we discovered that this, that this mulch was giving these cutworms a perfect place to burrow down uh, into during the day, the peak of the day when it's hot out here and when um, predators are looking for them. And um, also give, give them a good place to hide from our um, eyesight. We we'll come out here on um, every morning. We see more and more holes in the leaves of our potato plants, you know, and couldn't you know, determine what it was. And it was again these uh, huge uh, cutworms. So by removing this uh, mulch, which we think contained most of the cutworm that were over here in this planter, we're hoping to reduce the um, amount of damage in the future that we see from our on our uh, potato plants here. And again, we're going to replace uh, what we took out of the planter with this over here. So we'll bring you guys back for that step once we have that done. Hang tight, you two. All right, guys. So here's what our three foot by six foot if you could cut your garden planter with Beauregard sweet potatoes looks like. And we've removed all of the mulch over there in that container and all of the uh, subsequent cutworms that we found in that mulch and replaced it with this um, miracle Grow garden soil here. What we're gonna do now is simply Spread this mulch out over the soil, just lightly spread it out here in this bed, even it out. there you have it all we're gonna do now is take our time go back through this bed and lay all of the vines back out in pretty much the pattern that they were before we uh, moved these vines and that'll give this bed uh, the foliar coverage that we had the foliar mulch that we had uh, before we removed that um, mulch we have over there in that container look what your garden panel with bowl garden sweet potatoes looks like now that we've actually um, spread it the soil out in here and laid the vines back out across the bed to uh, cover the soil as you can see, some of the leaves are actually turned downward a little crossways and not quite right. Trust me, a day or two, all of these leaves would have turned back towards the sun and this bed would be completely covered and overshadowed by the leaves of this plant. At any rate, again, we expect to harvest these sweet potatoes the last week of July. That gives us a, gives us a total of uh, 120 days with these Beauregard sweet potatoes here uh, in the soil. And we'll bring you guys back for a harvest update at that time. I doubt we'll bring you guys another update on this particular garden planter between now and that time, unless something spect spect spectacular happens, like uh, perhaps these guys flower or something like that. Uh, sometimes sweet potatoes plants, they flower, sometimes they don't. Flowering doesn't necessarily mean that you got a bunch of sweet potatoes beneath the ground, and them flowering, them, them not flowering doesn't, doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have a, a tremendous harvest of sweet potatoes below your soil. So don't let your uh, sweet potatoes flowering or not flowering give you an indication one way or the other uh, as to how well you did. You won't know that until you actually cut these vines off and begin to dig in the soil. At any rate, YouTube, 
If you like what you see in this video and you're not already subscribed to the Green Thumbs Gardening Channel, press the subscribe button beneath this video, the like button, the notification button, and share this video with your friends and family if you don't mind. We really would appreciate it. Thanks.